We're at BEMA 2022. Now, this is the first time I've been to the show. It is absolutely amazing. Huge. Yeah. La VM en España tiene seis pabellones que están divididos en seis salas y cada uno nos muestra diferentes tecnologías. Así que acompáñenme al primer pabellón para ver la tecnología que tienen para ofrecernos. First stop, Hall 1, as you can see, huge, on fully loaded um, water, food, spare batteries because it's going to be a long old journey, it really is. Uh, it's just wow, as I said earlier, and we've already lost fare. Where is she? I think I can see her down there on the Correa stand. En el stand de Correa podemos encontrar una de las máquinas más grandes que hay en exhibición. Mide 3 metros de altura y eso que es de las máquinas más pequeñas que ellos manejan. Además, tenemos esta barra mandrinadora que acaba de ganar el premio a la innovación. Ahora vamos a buscar a Colin, que creo que está en el stand de Ona por allá. First, you might be a little bit confused. Ona now do a 3D printing. Great for prototypes, one-off, smaller components, but really complex parts. Next, EDM dye sync. We did an interview, well, I didn't, Fair did an interview with Maris, who's a world-leading expert in aerospace EDM. So, great interview. Watch your space for that one coming soon. Now, round the corner. If you're thinking EDM, you're thinking owner. They are high-end machines, big machines, twin to head, lots of different things. You can buy them, sort of normal ones from a catalogue, but they'll do bespoke ones for you as well. But, you might think, yeah, they're, they're too expensive for me, but they've now got an entry-level machine, no compromise on quality. So if you're thinking about EDM, get in contact with the guys at owner, well, CNC International UK, and this is the AD35. As I said, we're walking around Hall 1, but I've just spotted a... Uh, Stugard, hello, how are you doing? We know he loves to go on camera. I'm good, you? We're just going to interview you. Tell us about your machines. OK, well, we're very happy. We're representing Ibamia from the Basque area and uh, you can see they've got some great machines here so um, we're over looking at uh, more models for next year. Brilliant. Eric that's all we need from you, it's a short show but good to see you, have a good time, enjoy, enjoy Bilbao. Right we need to go and find Fur. she's disappeared. Ahora nos encontramos en el pabellón 2 con más herramientas de corte, vamos a buscar donde está Colin. I think we found an, oh I love MTD fan here actually, let's see if, let's see if he's still here, this is classic. He got, he won him an autograph. I understand that. Here we go. Hola, Louis. No, it's okay. You like MTD? Yes, of course. Sorry, we just interrupted his lunch. Why do you like it? Uh, because it's a way to, to know a little bit about the different brands. Uh, because it's my sector and I love it. And, and entertaining presenters? Yes, of course. <laughs> I follow you and also Giovanni. Giovanni? Who, sorry? Giovanni. Giov uh, Giovanni. Oh, yeah. He, he's not come here today, unfortunately. Sorry. And it, Louis, thank you very much. I will say, there you go, Gio. Hello. Anyway, let's go and find out about machine. Gracias. I'm learning the lingo. So, in the UK, Oliver and his team sell these machines, the MTE, as you can see, huge machines. The guys have been making these in Spain for about 28 years now. Absolutely, well, phenomenal, but come in different options. You've got your friction guideway, which is a box guideway, or your linear guideway. So you're switching up between speed and stability. You're not compromising, you're switching, depending on what type of components you want. But they've got a new head coming out. This is a great head, absolutely, but the new milling head is coming out very soon. So hopefully you'll be able to see it on the MTD channel. I'm done on this one. I think we should go and find Fair. I wonder where she is. Ahora nos encontramos en el stand de Solid Cam, donde nos van a presentar tecnologías de software para ayudarnos en nuestros procesos y optimizarlos para que sean hasta un 70% más rápidos. María, cuéntanos, ¿te gustó tener al equipo de MTD aquí en tu stand? Pues me gustó mucho. Primero porque nos divertimos muchísimo. De verdad. Fue una buena experiencia para ustedes. Sí, y además, lo que más me gustó, 
las preguntas que hacéis, te lo digo en serio, sabéis de mecanizado. Gracias. Y esto lo ha dicho todo el equipo. De verdad, se agradece muchísimo. Muchas gracias, María. Gracias. Un gusto conocerte. Gracias. Drinks break because it's a long old walk. I think I know where Fair is, but does she measure up? Amigos de MTD Ciencia, ahora me encuentro en el Standard Rainy Show, pero esta vez en España. Fátima, si ves esto, te quiero mucho. Jamás te vamos a cambiar por, por otra persona de Rainy Show, mi favorita. Aitor, cuéntame qué, qué tal ha sido su experiencia en la BM. Pues la verdad es que es muy buena. Eh, empezó un poco más flojita el lunes, pero a partir del martes empezó a venir mucha más gente. Ayer eh, estuvimos completos y hoy también tiene, tiene pinta de que, de que va a estar bien, va a estar llena. Sí, normalmente el primer día siempre es un poquito más lenta, ¿no? Sí, el primer día suele ser más común para, pues, para gente de formación, escuelas y, y los días importantes suelen ser el martes a la mañana, sobre todo miércoles y jueves. Excelente, ¿me puedes contar rapidito a nuestra audiencia la tecnología que tienen aquí en exhibición? Sí, mira, aquí tenemos un, un láser interferométrico, el XM60, que se emplea para medir a la vez eh, los seis errores, de, en este caso de posicionamiento, rectitud horizontal, vertical y los tres angulares, el roll, el pitch eh, y el yaw. Excelente, muchísimas gracias, Aitor. Hoffman stand, loads and loads of different products, as you'd expect, but I've got a little surprise. I've got a little surprise for Jose, because I don't think he knows he's going to go on camera. So we're going to. Hola, love it. He's going to go on camera for me because I didn't know these guys. Oh, he's even got his jacket on. Jose <laughs> Hoffman now do robots but very quickly. Yeah, sure. Tell me about it, please. Uh, well, uh, as we are machinists, uh, this is our uh, kind of solution for for the for a workshop. Instead of coming from the robotics world, we come from the uh, workshop uh, world. Then we we think we know uh, some of the requirements uh, technicians shall have for the for an automation system, loading system, and this is our pr proposal for, for this. There you go, so. nice and simple. Rose, that's all we need to know. So Hoffman, now do robots. Yeah, thank you very much. Gracias, see you, got it, yes. down pat. Off to hall, we're in three now. Let's go to hall four. Hall four, it's only a small hall, but I need to share this with Fair because I don't think you've seen this before, have you? Have you heard of a blast from the past? Yes. You have, not my wardrobe as an old machine. Now here, we have a very old machine. How old do you think it is? Your age? Wow, brutal. <laughs> it's a little bit older. It is 1927. And do you know what type of machine it is? Shaping machine? There you go. I'll tell you what, not a lot gets past my friend Fair. I'm so smart. There you go. So, a blast in the past from the Basque region. I think we should go to the next hall, which will be... Hall number five. Boom, let's go. Five. Amigos, después de ese viaje en el tiempo en el pabellón 4, creo que volvió a perder a Colin, así que vamos a buscar en el pabellón 5 dónde podría estar. Acompáñenme. We're in the Bicetronic stand, as it says here, cutting, bending, automation. So first of all, cutting, they're known for their Bicetar labors, labors, lasers, and the one over there is 15 kilowatts, super fast, super accurate, super rigid. But they've just launched a 20 kilowatt la laser. Not here, but I want to look at this. This is your bending machine in there, fully automated. The Expert 8, I'm not sure if a cameraman can get in, get in there. Probably can't, never mind, eh? But we recently filmed one of these at a company called Optima, and the engineer on the shop floor said, essentially, every machine shop should have one of these. He absolutely loved it. Amigos, nos encontramos en el pabellón 5. Ya casi estamos por terminar. Y ahora estamos en el stand de Prima Power donde tienen esta máquina dobladora totalmente automatizada y de gran tamaño que reconoce distintas formas y nos puede dar distintos acabados. Almost there, hall six again for his, well, like that really. So let's go and find out where she is. Amigos, ya estamos terminando este recorrido por la BM, ya estamos en el pabellón número 6 y me encuentro aquí con Federico de Diseco, que nos va a contar un poquito de cómo les ha ido en la expo y lo que tienen aquí en exhibición. Muy bien, Olana, eh, la verdad que muy contentos con, con esta eh, edición. Era una edición que llevaba cuatro años esperándose debido a la pandemia y, y la verdad que ha, ha valido la pena la espera, estamos muy contentos de cómo ha ido la exposición a nivel de visitantes, a nivel de proyectos. Excelente. ¿Qué es lo que tienen aquí en exhibición? ¿Qué es lo que le están ofreciendo a la gente que ha venido a visitarles? 
Mira, nosotros eh, somos eh, distribuidores exclusivos de dos marcas que tenemos aquí detrás, eh, Filter Miss y Absolen, y esto eh, realmente lo que es, eh, son equipos de aspiración de neblina de aceite. Este tipo de aspiradores eh, se colocan encima de máquina herramienta y lo que hacen es eh, extraer el humo, la neblina de aceite. Excelente, muchas gracias Fede y espero que sigan teniendo mucho éxito. Muy bien, gracias. A ti. Nos vemos, bien, gracias. Nos vemos, chao. Very quickly, because Adam has got to get a plane. Adam, your machine is unique. Yeah, it is unique because it is designed uh, two, two years ago exactly, and it is still unique to, to be developed. And it is pretty nice machine combination of extrusion of the 3D printing extrusion and tilting rotating table uh, from CNC machines. It is big, big job. So 3D printing and a five-axis mill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is the possibility for finish the, the 3D printing model later. It is pretty fine job. Adam, absolutely fantastic. I don't want to take away from your machine, but I think that's the best modeling I've seen all week. That's absolutely fantastic. And you're looking for distributors where? Yeah, it is the Spain, of course, it is the market, the mine market, and also Mexico it is. Yeah, it is. Lucky you met fair then. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Adam, thank you very much. Go and get your plane. Amigos, ya terminamos de recorrer los seis pabellones que nos ofrece la VM. Colin, where are we going now? Six fantastic halls, as I think you just said. <laughs> but let's go back to where we started. Come on. Wow, a long walk and six fantastic halls. Más de 10,000 pasos que hicimos el día de hoy. Y esto fue la BM 2022 y esperamos verlos en la BM 2024.